Who's a good candidate for country? Well, today we're going to figure that out. You may not know, but obesity is an, at an all-time high. For 2022, NHANES data showed that the obesity rate was at 42%. Uh, for African Americans, it was even higher at 50%. And if you compare this to like 10 years ago in 2012, the rate was at 35%. Also, what is the big deal about uh, being overweight? Well, the reason we care as healthcare providers about obesity is it increases your risk for other medical conditions uh, and it also decreases your mortality. So if you're overweight, you're going to be at higher risk for diabetes, for high blood pressure, for certain types of cancer, and all of these things are going to decrease your longevity. That's why we think it's so important. In regards to Contra, this is a weight loss medication that consists of actually two medications. One is Bupropion and the other is Naltrexone. Now, Bupropion is something historically has, uh, particularly for depression and anxiety. 2005 uh, up to 2007, they did clinical trials on Contrave and people uh, got a, a pretty good weight loss of five to 10 percent body weight. And people got body weight loss of five to 10 percent, which is pretty good for a uh, weight loss medication. Now, how does it work? One of the things it does, like many other weight loss medications, is decrease your appetite, uh, but also it is going to impact fat absorption and also your insulin sensitivity. So all these things together are going to help you lose weight. So who's a good candidate for Contra? Now, in that it is FDA approved for weight loss, there's a couple indications. So one is a BMI of 30 or greater, or a BMI of 27 with risk factors like high blood pressure or diabetes. Other things that are gonna make people good candidates for this are include binge eating. So um, if you're someone that you did good all day you get home and you eat half or even a whole carton of ice cream. This might be a good medication for you. Also people who emotionally eat, um, this is a good medication for. Another subset of people is those who have inflammation. So uh, a common scenario would be like if you have autoimmune disease, uh, particularly if you have uh, thyroiditis or Hashimoto's, those are inflammatory states and the naltrexone is a medication that is good calming down inflammation. It also has been helpful for people who have hyperthyroidism. Also those are people who have had insulin resistance is uh, useful for. So uh, another group of patients that it can be helpful for is uh, people who have hyperthyroidism. So uh, it turns out it does help in the conversion of certain thyroid hormones into the active hormone. So certainly could be useful there. Uh, another subset of patients uh, could be quite useful for is people who have PCOS or are on the spectrum of that disease because it does help with uh, insulin resistance. Okay, so how do you get the most out of uh, Contra? So this is a prescription medication, so you're definitely gonna wanna talk to your provider about the risk and benefits of Contra, but also like, how do I get the most out of this? And so that's going to be pairing it with a diet or an exercise program. So your provider will work with you on what type of diet makes the most sense for you and uh, your lifestyle. Um, certainly exercise is important as well, uh, particularly at maintaining uh, whatever weight loss you gain. So if you wanna learn about some other weight loss medications, check this video out. Um, if you found this helpful, please like or subscribe. We'll see you next time.